Yeah, it's nice. Um, obviously, I was disappointed when I uh, didn't make the, the 23 originally, but um, I held out hope that uh, you never wish injuries or anything like that upon any of your teammates, of course, but um, stay positive and keep performing for my club in case the situation did arrive. And I got a phone call from um, the gaffer about a week and a bit ago now and asked if I was keen. And of, of course, uh, well, I love playing for my country. It's a massive honour. and. I uh, had no intentions of turning that down and uh, happy to be here and hopefully we can uh, make some history. Yeah, um, obviously they were in camp for, for a few weeks before they arrived in PNG and uh, I was keeping up to date and, and watching the results and, and keeping in touch with the boys because i um, generally interested to see how everything was going and uh, came into camp and, and sat down with the, the coaching staff and, and got myself up to date and, and uh, trained hard. and. It's nice to get on the pitch against the Solomon Islands the other day and, and get a win, uh, make that three out of three from group stages and, and now the, the hard part starts. Yeah, it was nice. Um, obviously, the gaffer and the coaching staff decided to rest a couple of players and, and give the, the wider squad an opportunity to, to stake a claim for the semi-final. And uh, by all accounts, he was very happy with the, the way that the team played and, and uh, said that it was the best 90 minute performance uh, from, the, from the players, which is pleasing. Um, from a from a squad point of view to know that we've got that depth and, and we can rely on anyone in, in any sort of situation. So it was nice to get on, get another cap and uh, like I said, to, to get the three points made it uh, that much sweeter. Yeah, look, I don't think that Solomon Islands had any intention of winning that game and, and they knew that if they um, could, could keep it to within three goals and they were going through into the semi-finals as well. So they sat very deep and, and defended and, and tried to frustrate us, which um, the boys, I thought, done very well to, to keep the composure and um, we, we knew that we were going to get um, chances and, and it was just a matter of making sure that we took that chance when it came. and uh, congratulations to Luke on getting his first goal for the country um, in a very important time and, uh, and then you can tell um, Solomon's were taking it to the corner and holding it, which is <laughs> not something you see every day, but um, like we said, our, our goal was to get three from three wins in the group stage and, and we've done that and now we look forward to New Caledonia. Yeah, look, uh, that, that group was very tight and um, Papua New Guinea done very well to top that group, um, especially with Tahiti and New Caledonia's competition. Those two, two teams have done very well in the Oceania region lately and, and to knock Tahiti out of the um, semi-final spot, they've done well. So um, I'm looking forward to coming up against New Caledonia again. Um, we owe them for, for what happened four years ago and, and I think this team here is much better prepared and, and uh, we're looking forward to that game and, and I can see us going on to the final. Yeah, I think they're a little bit different to some of the other island nations that we've come up across so far on the group stage. Um, they're a bit more physical than, than the other teams and, and structurally they're a little bit more set up and, and play with a little bit more patience. But look, it's all about how we prepare and, and the, the coaching staff have got us well set up and well drilled and we all understand our roles in the squad, whether we're starting or coming on or it's a supporting role from, from the bench. So. Um, we're in a good headspace at the moment, we know where we're at and, and if we prepare well and, and perform like we can do, um, I don't see us having any problems in getting into the final.